I'm just going to turn this a bit here. It's a very large map of Taipei, but drawn from sort of a bird's eye perspective. I'm from England. I came to Taiwan two years ago. Um, I just finished college and I wanted to go somewhere different, somewhere warmer. So I chose Taiwan. Yeah, I've been teaching English here, studying a little bit of Chinese for maybe six months or so. And then I'll probably go back next year sometime to England. Yes. I, like, I always like the kind of old medieval maps of like Italian cities mm -hmm. that were kind of drawn in a similar style. Mm -hmm. But over years and years and years, where they do every little tiny church mm -hmm. and house in, in insane detail, actually. <laughs> um, I first, first started drawing in this style for a piece of university coursework, actually, in Paris. And then I found, I, I did that, I did a, I did a kind of, I did one of Paris and it was showing how the revolution had changed Paris. Uh, it was very rushed and I had a deadline for it, but I quite enjoyed drawing it. So then I did a second one of a city in England called Nottingham where I was at college, but I haven't finished that one properly yet. I came to Taipei in the middle of drawing that. And then while I was here, I decided um, to continue drawing like that, so I, I tried Taipei as well. I did very little cartography in, in college. I, I did a few modules of, it was more kind of computer-based cartography, nothing hand-drawn. Uh -huh. I always preferred drawing, like hand-drawing. I've always been interested in maps and cities and architecture and sort of the history of cities. So I wanted to... This kind of brought it all together, I guess. <laughs> I started in this corner down here, and that's why it's a slightly different style. Mm. Like, it's a lot more squished. <laughs> 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 and then when I got to I got to Geelong Road, and I did it a little bit wrong, and I was like, okay, this I have to change the style a little bit, and then I worked across because it's not like a hundred percent accurate. Some of some of the bits in say like. The middle of the blocks are just made up, but I'd hope in a way that it kind of still looks fairly realistic. Basically, the bits, um, the bits are, are very accurate. Are kind of like Shinji's quite good. So I went to the top of 101 and took a lot of pictures. Uh, I went to the top of like Sogo and a few of the other buildings along here and took lots of photos from up there, and then. <laughs> I like went on a bus along some of the big roads and took a photo every few hundred meters. So try and getting the main streets correct. And then some of it's just from memory. Actually most of the sort of Tonghua Street area I live in. So I sort of know it quite well. Once you're up high up in other buildings you don't get so much of the the sort of chaos that is in the streets, it was a lot clearer from, <laughs> from up, up high. You could kind of pick out the main buildings and the main sort of landmarks a lot easier from up there. But I liked, um, I liked the sort of chaos on the streets as well and I sort of always made sure uh, not to, to make it too where it is. I wanted to keep keep it a little more higgledy piggledy looking, I guess. I like walking in this area a lot because it's got all these funny little villages that seem to have kind of been left behind. And you sort of wander into these little villages and it's like suddenly you're in the countryside. And <laughs> you're kind of... It's strange because you look one way you can see huge skyscrapers and, and then in a sort of little bubble with all these little old houses. I like the old wooden houses from kind of the 1910s, 1920s. I, I like, I, I, if I ever see one of those, I try to put it on here. It's a shame that those, those are vanishing and kind of being replaced by quite mm. bland luxury towers that all look the same. So I live in a really awesome little building, it's mostly from like the 50s or something, mm. and it's, 
my I have a very old landlord who brews his own rice wine and has it and really and it's, I feel like he's it's his own fam, family's building and I feel like kind of part of the family in that in that place so I like it a lot I've liked living here for the past two years um, it's always surprises me a lot like I like just walking around it that's where most of the areas are in in some detail are where I've just wandered around and a lot of the times while I was drawing it I was just like oh that's because I was like, I was using all these little photos. I was like, I wonder what's what's down there. You know, like what's what's in this area, what's in that area. So, it, like, I'd like people to see this and find and see bits of Taipei that they don't know, mm. and go, oh, that's what's that area? What's this? Is, so what's that building? Just looking for their own neighborhoods. Actually, yeah, to, to use it to explore a little bit.